hi there i want to share with you one reason why you may not yet be married even though god has said it and sent you so many prophecies <laughs> Hepsiba Francis, a minister of the Lord, voice, auto and scribe for the Lord. And I welcome you back to my YouTube channel where I share on everything the Lord gives me with a definite slant on love and relationship and marriage God's way. Today, I'm going to be sharing something with you that is very, very important. And it's something on the Lord's heart to singles who he has told that they will be married. If the Lord has given you prophecies about your upcoming marriage, he has said it is time for your kingdom marriage. And if you haven't watched my last video on um, it's time for your kingdom marriage, please click and go watch it. But this is for you, right? And I want to share something with you that is really on the Lord's heart that may be blocking your move into the fulfillment of the prophecy of marriage that God has given to you. First of all, let's start with prayer. Heavenly Father, we give you praise and we thank you for an opportunity to share your word with your people. We ask, oh God, that you fill our hearts with your wisdom and give us understanding to apply what we hear in wisdom. In Jesus' name, amen. This one simple thing I want to share with you that may be hindering your marriage, marital promises from coming to pass, is the simple concept of obedience. Now, when the Lord gives a word of prophecy, the Lord gives a word telling you and showing you what he's intending to do in your life in the future. And in this case, marriage. There are steps to take in bringing that prophecy to come to pass. I'll say that again. There are steps to take in causing the word that the Lord has given to you to come to pass and those steps to take depend on you so sometimes when God gives a word concerning marriage which is our case in point here he would also give like a set of instructions on what to do on what you should do most of the times those instructions we pay attention to them but do not obey them forgetting that one of the greatest things that can make a prophetic word come to pass is obedience. I'll say that again. One of the greatest things that can make a prophetic word come to pass is obedience. What is obedience? Obedience is what we see in John chapter 2 verse 5 where there is a scarcity of wine and wine is needed at a wedding. Jesus' mother says to Jesus, please turn, please give them wine. And Jesus first of all says, what have I to do with you? But when you come to chapter 5, his mother had this wisdom I'm trying to share with you. And she says to the servants, whatever he says to you, do it. And the Bible says there were set there six water pots of stone, according to the manner of purification of the Jews, containing 20 or 30 gallons apiece. And Jesus said to them, fill the water pots with water. And they filled them up to the brim. And... He said to them, draw some out now and take it to the master of the feast. And they took it. When the master of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine and did not know where it come from, what did he do? He tasted the water that was made wine. When was the water turned into wine? In the process of their obedience to the word that Jesus had said to them. If Mary had not told them this concept of obedience, they very likely would have been like, why is this man asking us to fill water pots with water? This kind of heavy work. Why is he doing this? And then he's telling us to go and give the master of the ceremony water. This doesn't make sense. This is, this is, this is, this is. But Mary, the mother of Jesus, had already told them this is the secret. Whatever he says to you, do it. And in the midst of your obedience, you would see the miracle 
come to pass. The same thing with the prophetic word for your marriage that God has given to you. When God starts to speak to you about the fact that you are coming into a marital season, he wants you to meet the man of God or the woman of God that he's bringing to your way. It's a prophetic word and it's going to have instructions that he's going to give to you to do. And in the midst of your obedience, you would see the miracle happen. But many times we do not obey. And sometimes we just think that this obedience may be in the area of marriage. But it may even be obedience in the area of your business. It may be obedience in the area of your finances. It may be obedience in the area of honoring your parents. It may be in the obedience in the area of giving. But because our lives are a whole, and I heard this from P.D. Dedicate, God sees our lives as whole. So obedience in one area can actually literally be affecting obedience in another area. And I'll give us an example. In the year 2017, um, God had led me in a series of fastings and prayers concerning my marriage. And he literally had taken out a lot of obstacles out of the way. At the end of my fast, I sprained that day and he was like, meet your mom and apologize for your rebellion towards her when you were a teenager. And ask her to pray for you and forgive you and bless you and give her a seed of eight. I was praying for marriage, but God gave me an instruction concerning my mother. Imagine if I did not obey that instruction concerning my mother because I'm like, this doesn't relate. This doesn't have anything to do with each other. I would have been stuck where I was. So the concept of obedience is one serious issue for the reason why many of us singles are not getting into the fulfillment of the prophetic marital promise God has given to you. And I just pray for you right now. Holy Spirit, I ask that you will stir up our hearts. Instructions the Lord has given to us previously remind us of those things. Give us grace to promptly obey. And as we obey, may we see the miracle of our supernatural marriages come to pass in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to share something with you. God gave me a new book titled Ripe Marital Promises. It's a book that is literally a guide for steps to take, spiritual warfare strategy to take, to cause the prophetic word of your marriage that God has given to you to come to pass. And I put up a free preview of this book on Okada Books www.okadabooks.com just search for Hepsiba Francis write marital promises and read the free preview it's going to be wisdom for you in the journey you are taking into the fulfillment of your prophetic marital promise if this video was a blessing to you I encourage you to subscribe hit the subscribe button and hit the share button. Please share this wisdom with at least one friend who God has given a marital promise and it seems like it's delaying. Let her receive wisdom. And if this wisdom is the key for her, let the kingdom marriages that the Lord has given to us start to arise by the grace and the mercy of the Lord Jesus Christ. Share please on social media channels. You can follow me on social media, Instagram at Hebziba Frances, Facebook, Search for Hebziba Frances. I have a page also Hebziba Frances. And let's connect even outside of here. God bless you. And see you next time um, for the next video on my YouTube channel. I love you very much. Bye. I'm